Hey, it's Mindy from Time to Unwind, and I'm wearing my Great Lakes Fiber Show t-shirt today, and this year, will we have the Great Lakes Fiber Show? I don't know. As of now, it's not canceled. This is um, April 13th, and of course, it's at the end of May, so who knows? My own take as a healthcare professional, even if I'm a little bit retired, is that it probably won't. But I'm not the person in charge of anything like that. So I just don't know. But there it is. There's my Great Lakes Fiber Show t-shirt. Now, today I've had a bunch of kind of cool stuff and so I just thought I'd make a little video and uh, maybe catch up with on this, some things because I haven't been on for a little while um, and so I wanted to make masks and my old sewing machine I put it on the shelf before I even moved to this house where and we've lived here for a good 13 years or so uh, and it was already I, I had to take it in to get fixed and I never had time I was working a lot a lot of stuff was happening and um, so it just sat on the shelf and uh, so I thought well I'm gonna get that out so I can make some masks um, so we finally got it out and it my son couldn't, I knew I was going to have to fix it because I put it on the shelf because I was going to have to fix it. Um, so my son got it out, but he couldn't find the cord because it was up on a higher shelf. And he couldn't find the cord, so I couldn't even do that. But manually, it, I thought I had it straightened out. Um, just turning because it was a an alignment thing with the needle and so I thought I might have had that part straightened out but we couldn't find the cord and the cord my, my sewing machine's not young but it is electronic it was like from the 80s it was one of the early electronic ones um, so um, the cord for it cost so much that you could have bought a cheap sewing machine and so my son asked me, you know, what does a sewing machine cost? And we looked it up and I gave him a range of an inexpensive one. I didn't want to get into something big because he was going to buy it for me for Mother's Day and my birthday combined. So we did that. And then I said, well, put this back on the shelf. And he put it back on the shelf. And as he was doing so, he found the, the cord for my uh, sewing machine, which he hadn't been able to find when he was getting it. So, well, it happened and it ran. The needle went up and down perfectly, but I could not get the tension adjusted. So I thought, well, this might be something that we can work out. Um, but they'd already shipped the other, so, because it was supposed to come on the 20th. This is the 13th, it, and so I looked and it said Tuesday. This is Monday. It came today. It came on Monday. I'm not going to go into opening that up because I don't have room on my lap to show you that. But some other stuff came today, and so I thought I'd show you that. Now, the first thing is my secret place to go for yarn obviously it's not a secret but who would think officesupply.com would be a great place to go for yarn on occasion but officesupply.com is and of course i don't think i have the packing slip but it's, the prices are quite reasonable and sometimes you can find odd things there so one of the things i got was Premier anti-pilling um, 
everyday plaid planned pooling yarn. I got two um, skeins of this. And this colorway is maybe something I can find. Well, if I turn it the other way, maybe. Machine wash, warm, tumble, dry, normal. Color number 107321, magenta purple plaid. Um, and if you think it's from Aokotex. I love the picture on it. So I'm hoping it sh comes out something like that. The If you knit, it would be 18 stitches by 24 rows every 4 inches. If you're crocheting, it would be, with a U, that's with a US 8, 5 millimeter needles. Um, if you're crocheting, 12 stitches by 15 rows in a four by four swatch and uh, that would be uh, or a 10 by 10 mil a centimeter swatch and that would be US I9 or 5.5 millimeter um, hook so I'm excited about that I don't know when I'll have time to try that um, but I've got those and the other thing I didn't get much because I was I went to office supply.com for something else altogether, but I just couldn't. I just couldn't leave without looking at their yarn. And the other thing I got, and I got two balls of this as well, was sugar. And this is 170 yards for 3.5 ounces or 156 meters per 100 grams. This is the brand is Fair Isle. And it's 70% acrylic, 30% nylon. And this is a four weight. And of course they say machine wash, cold, gentle, do not bleach, tumble dry low, do not iron. And so this is something I need to switch my thing over here for. Um, 23 rows. 17 stitches in your 4x4 four four square for knitting. They are not even giving me a crochet um, scale, but oh yes, they are. It's over there. And that would be US 9 or 5.5 millimeter knitting needles or US E4 or 3.5 crochet hooks. So, and this is nice. It's soft. It's got a decent, well, you don't need to see that with the crochet, with the, you can see it like this. It's got a nice twist to it. It's a nice loft. I didn't really look too much at the other. But that's not the only thing that came today. So, Paradise Fibers showed up. And so I already cut, I already cut it. Where did I cut it? So I thought I cut it. Oh. They take me so well. I always end up destroying this and I don't want to destroy it. Because the box is nice to store it in. So let me see if I can figure out where else they've got it taped. I've already ripped that a little bit. I don't like that. I wish I could figure out why I always destroy these boxes. Because I'm opening them upside down. How about that? I would open it upside down. So, this month's Paradise Fiber Box 
In this month Paradise Fiber Box, it's Let Them Make Yarn. And Tribulation first makes you realize who you are. So I think they plan these out well in advance. So I think that this is, I got a hair in my mouth. This is uh, just kind of um, serendipity that they came up with something like that for this um, particular time period with the coronavirus. Um, lockdown and everything. So, uh, but they did say, you know, they're talking about distancing and everything. Join, join their quarantine spin along happening on all social media. And so in the box, there'll be four ounces of Rambouillet, two ounces of Angora, a handmade fiber flower progress keeper pin, a uh, 550 yard spool of plying thread. Hmm. Don't know if I want to do that. I haven't looked at it yet. Fortnum and Mason Queen Egg, Queen Anne tea bag. Um, a salmon Ceylon tea. Uh, wait a second. A glossy encasement folk of pearl folk ah bleh, opulent folk pearl beads a flower bead threader and it says we are sorry to inform you that you and you Eunice E W E N I C E our sheep logo will not be making a decorative appearance as a sticker this month in this month's box as she is practicing social distancing. And of course they've got their fiber of the month um, club code and, and there's a Ravelry group, the real five paradise fibers to meet other members. And there's their blog on back. They're talking about their French and Gore. I love French Angora. I used to have one French Angora rabbit and he was so gorgeous. Um, and you gather those fires by shearing, combing, or plucking. And I usually plucked, but I did shear sometimes too. Um, and there are 11 distinct breeds of um, Angora rabbits, and they are all gorgeous. Originated in Ankara, which is present-day Turkey, brought to France in 1723, the Angora rabbit became a popular pet of French royalty and quickly spread to the rest of Europe by the end of the 18th century. In the, to the United States by the early 20th century. Soft and silky fiber is a delight to hand spin due to its lightweight warmth, the micron count of 14, and its pure white color. Actually, it has several colors, but I loved my French Angora because mine had a little funky little kink to its um, fibers that made it look like it was sparkly. And then Rambouillet is the um, type of wool, and it's a breed of sheep first developed in the late 17th century in Rambouillet, France, by selective breeding between a select few hundred of the best Merino sheep from Spain. Brought to the United States in 1840, two-thirds of this hardy breed now reside in the western mountain ranges. Hailed as Luxurious French Merino, this defined breed boasts a long staple length, a micron count of 20, and ne next to the skin softness and a lovely bounce. This is a fine wool to blend with other luxury fibers to add elasticity without compromising softness. The fleece is prized for being dense with a square mat fibers 
and a defined crimp. Then they're go then they're going to talk about coarse spinning because that's why they sent the thread and, and incorporating beads because they liked Marie Antoinette liked the beads and they're focusing on French fibers. So let's see what we have here. Now, first of all, we have gorgeous paper, as always, and it's very French looking. So let's open this up. And in the bag, this is what it looks like. So let's see what's inside. I am going to go out on a limb and say that this is the Angora. I still have some Angora from my rabbits when I um, kept them because I hate to spin it because I want to keep it. Ah, yes. Here we are. This stuff is so soft. It's so nice. A good long staple of this is not going to Particularly if you pluck it or comb it, it won't, if, if it's a long staple, it won't shed a lot like you, oh, don't put it up to your face because this stuff is, it's like down, it goes up. Um, um, it doesn't shed the way you, the way you might think of it because if it's cut, they'll cut it too short sometimes and that, and then not spin it tightly enough to handle short fibers. And so then you run into um, stuff that sh can shed too much. So there's the Angora. So here comes the Rambouet then. Hold still. So talk to your boxes sometimes. So let's see the Rambouet. I'm assuming that it's going to be white Rambouet. And it feels good, too. I mean, it's not Angora, but it's still nice. 20 micron count is soft. Trust me. Um, oh, yeah. And it is white. Yeah. That's nice. So four ounces of that, two ounces of the Angora. And it's so delicate and light that... Two ounces is that big bag and that this is packed tightly for four ounces so so the blue bag is the Ramboulet and let's see what he this would be the Uh, is this a, it says a 550 yard spool, is this that, of plying thread? Silver in color, it's pretty. And here we have a container with the beads. Here is the Queen Anne tea. We've got more than one thing in here. Got Angora. <laughs> It's downy, and anything that's called down is called down tongue-in-cheek because anything that's called down can go up. <laughs> so let's see what's all in here. Well, for one thing, I've lost three beads already. Four. So I won't get any more beads out. Because I'm losing them on my computer. But they're multicolored. It's first. Okay. This is a threader. 
and this is a marker. Isn't that pretty? It's showing up on there as a lighter color. This is actually a darker shade. Put this back in here. I'm going to have to chase beads after I'm done with this. I'll put them here for now. Let's see if I can show you. Uh, I'm not sure I can. There. So they're very pretty beads. So... Anyway, get the Ancora to go down instead of up. Oops, now that just shut off and came back because I touched the keyboard chasing beads. There's another one. And beyond that, they're stuck in to the keyboard, so I'll get to that. Okay. So, how many minutes have we got? Well, we can't tell anymore because we started over. All right. Now, I kind of wanted to show you a couple of other things while I had you. Show you a little progress I'm making on my... I finally got more yarn. This stuff is um, Karen Latte Cakes, and they only put it out in the winter, which means it's kind of difficult. Now, I started out thinking I didn't know what I was going to do, and then I decided, well, I would ask my son, this is uh, going to be a wedding gift for my nephew who went to Florida and got married down there what, just before, about a week before uh, the um, shelter in place order went in for Ohio. Um, and so they had decided that they would do the... Um, the reception up here at a later date. Well, it keeps getting put off, which is good because I ran out. I realized I did not have enough yarn in the color that I eventually was told was going to be the best color for their afghan. And so I started doing this. Now, you can't tell really. Honestly, it doesn't really show up that I decided to go with some rows of different stitches. So I put this row in here of puff stitches. You can't tell with this yarn. So then I decided, well, I'm going to try something else. So I'm putting in... These are actually petals. You can't tell with this yarn, but they, you can tell that it's more like a shell. So I'm trying some different things, <laughs> but I did finally get some more yarn in these colors. I got more of the pepper ash and more of the gray velvet. So I might not have to um, resort to using um, colors that aren't gray so, or gray tone. So I was happy about that this week. I got those from 
Michael's, our local store, which was, this was tricky. Michael's website does not, if it's on clearance, Michael's website tells you you have to go to the store. They do not. They list it on the website, but they don't put a button in to buy. But during the um, lockdown that we are currently experiencing, um, our store is all curb pickup. And so uh, we've, it, it made it kind of tricky because I couldn't go in the store to buy it. But I, what we finally worked out at my store was, excuse me for picking up the computer, um, that I would call them with the, with the item number and they would go out in and gather it up when I was on my way up anyways to pick up something I had ordered. And so I, and then I would pay for it. So we did that and I got four more balls of each. So I'm hoping I have enough. Um, I did think of another stitch I might try on that because I realized, oh my golly, I never quite finished this. And this was a scarf, I'm sure I've showed it to you, that is a 3D stitch. Very easy to do. And I'm sure it probably won't show up well, but I'm wondering if it might just make an interesting texture to feel. You might not be able to see it, but maybe you can feel it in the pattern. So I gotta finish this. This was one of my Carry the Doctor's Office projects. And I didn't get it finished and I just realized it. So, and there I am picking up the computer again. Sorry about that. So I thought I would uh, maybe throw some of that into it and see how, see if you could even tell it was there. So, Loki's sleeping beside me, the dog, that is. And, um, well, she just moved in beside me. So, well, I hope you're having fun staying home. I hope you're not losing your mind. So, maybe sometime today I will set up the new sewing machine and get to making the masks that I haven't been able to make. Um, and see if I can't do something productive in that way. And I hope you have, find something to do that keeps you out of mischief. Um... I see that there are some good knit and crochet masks. Make sure that if you make those, that they have a pocket to put some sort of filter, whether it's a shop towel or a vacuum cleaner or something or other. But you do want to make sure that it does cover this area um, so that it does. And some of those crocheted ones do seem to look like I don't know about up here you might still want to put a band of some sort into it that will push it down but you do want to make sure that it is relatively close sealing um, so that it does um, cover your face and remember that um, if you have rubbing alcohol if it's a high alcohol content and you do have to be working with a computer that other people is are sharing with you maybe you can pour some alcohol over over some cotton balls and squeeze them so that it's a not so that they're not dripping but so that you can squeeze them out and and wipe it off periodically take them to work in a baggie or something so you don't want to kill your electronics but you know take care of yourself remember that gloves everything you touch with gloves on just accumulates more stuff on the gloves and um, becomes a real vector for infection so you can't just go in and wear gloves and expect it to help so wash your hands so have a nice day, have a nice week, have a nice stay at home. Or if you're an essential worker, have a nice 
and safe um, work experience and hope things go well and we'll see you later and don't forget to hit the subscribe button hit the like button and hit the bell so you know when we're coming back bye bye